Hi, so this is the lab series for PEL 900 and in this session we will see how we can set up the canvas app that is the three third lab in this series and we will create the app based on the setup we did earlier which means we created all the entities or and the fields etc so we'll see how we can do that so let's jump into the power platform landing page so this is our make.powerapp.com and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create an app say new canvas app if I say new canvas app and it ask me different options what I will be interested in creating just making sure that I'm in the right environment that's important I choose the common data services phone app and it selects the common data services and then I can select the tables I want to create this app against so I'll select visit table and I say connect and this is gonna just load the app in my portal and then I will just skip the, the initial window I said don't see we didn't I will go to file save give a name of the app maybe I can give something like which campus stuff okay and I say save all right so this basically goes ahead and saves the app and then I will go ahead and modify this app a bit to have the better view so Once this is kind of done, we'll start navigating into the designer here. So you can see in this designer, there are three sections, browse, edit, and detail screen. So we'll first dig into detail screen. We'll explore that. And I've got a detail form. You can also run this app from here, but we'll just modify it for the timing. Go to the detail form, you select the detail form, and there are few fields display. I want to display more fields so I can just say go ahead and add actual start actual and building code and then I go down and I says schedule end schedule start okay so I basically add that and then I say visitor okay so I'll say add and they get added to this form I also go ahead and modify the edit form okay the screen so in this you basically have the edit form one that's where the edit is happening and I want to add a few fields in this form so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and say actual star not actual I will probably add schedule start schedule end building and visitor so visitor and building okay so that will have but but a busy form here and then you can see now you can just alter the thing I'm not just going to spend a lot of time beautifying things and then you can rearrange and make make it more logical and then let's go back to the initial screen that's the browse screen the first screen which gets loaded you can see that in the browse screen you can just select uh, the template size property from the uh, from this so let me first pick up the gallery and 
then I go to the template size I click here and you can see that it says something about the self dot height so instead of that what I say that um, I want to use browse gallery one why it is changing and then I want to make this minimum as 150 is that fine should be fine yeah it looks better and then I on the top bar I can see that I have got something called created on I'm not interested in created on at all so what I do I will say schedule start maybe what I can do I can copy and then you can see that everywhere it gets recollected because it's just a repeat instead of start I will say end so I basically I'm showing both the values schedule start schedule end that's fine and then I say file save so every time you save it goes and saves into the, the cloud and then uh, have the version captured so you want to retrieve from a specific version you need to make sure that you are saving it on a regular interval you may not be publishing it but at least saving it now it will f it is filtering currently by the name I can just provide the name I because I have added this to dates maybe what I wanted to do is that I wanted to bring in this um, date filter as well so I'll go into the main screen and I select this form right and I say insert input date picker while I do that I just probably put it below this um, search item maybe just fit this to the screen but then I need to really resize this gallery so that it fits just after this thing so I have now a date picker which is this but I need to really change the code so the code of this Thing, the gallery is in advance so you go here and you see at this point in time you have something called search column right you can see that it says search and instead of just visit so let me just delete this what I wanted to do is that I wanted to filter say I wanted to filter based on fi what I'm doing no 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 okay I don't need that I say filter I put a black parenthesis after the filter. Why this is so slow? Maybe it's not a good idea to use it here. Rather, I will say that I use some. editor let's say and I try to put it here and then paste it later so I, what I wanted to do is that rather than filter I wanted to add the filter criteria against visits against scheduled 
end when she will end greater than equal to date picker one p i c k e r okay dot selected date and then it basically ends here okay that criteria ends you go and have the text box search with the bc code bc name end your thing bc code if sorting start descending one then descending descending okay that looks fine i'll just copy this and now paste it yep so that's easy so you can see that now i have got the the filter applied over here right so this is almost done the the thing i need to do is that i need to just save it once okay because if something changed it'll automatically not tell you that you need to save it you just save that and then you go back and run this app see how it behaves so if you search by let's say scott only the scott will come if you search by day let's say november 12 in only the november 12 should display i'm sorry yeah so should be fine Okay, let me just verify that. This, this. Okay. Alright, so let me just go into that, check the app, and then what I need to do is that I need to publish this app. So let us say publish publish this version that's fine close go back now what we have done is that we have all the apps created I go to the power apps window again go to this thing open the solution in the same environment and you say add an existing app and then you select the canvas app outside of the solution select it and say add once you add that then it becomes part of this subscription it is now locked cancel file alright file close that will release the lock and then you say add it should add that so you need to make sure that you're not modifying it and once you're done you say publish all the customization and this is gonna make sure that they are all becoming kind of available as a solution so with this the lab of this section ends here thank you